let's see which of these statements are helping explain some of the data in the table the first one here talks about third longest river something so let's sort it by length and look at the third longest river the third longest river is this one the information here is that starts from the western part of a large country so if this is a large country starts from the western part and flows across to its extreme east here where it merges with a large water body so such a uh, river does not pass through any other country so yangtze passing through only one country so yes this information helps explain that why such a large uh, river the third largest river is passing through only one country definitely helps explain the second one congo passes through none of the world's top 15 countries this is sorted by length congo happens to be uh, only the second largest of the given rivers and it, it is still passing through eight countries why is it passing through eight countries because it is passing through none of the 15 largest countries in the world so yes this information helps explain that why a relatively small river is passing through so many more countries compared to some of the bigger rivers passing through far fewer countries so this helps explain look at the third one here extreme shift in climate and all of this in the region where huang he flows significantly impact its discharge rate so there must be something unusual about the discharge rate of huang he let's sort it by the discharge and we see that yes huang he has the lowest discharge among all of these rivers there are rivers whose um, discharge is up to almost a hundred times of what the discharge of Wang He is. So uh, definitely this is also, also an unusual number but even this is an unusual number. This information helps explain that why is this number unusual. So each of the three statements is explaining something or the other in the table. So the answer must be yes, yes, yes.